What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today, I want to talk about my man, Jason Derulo, and, you know, props to the brother because he was kind of falling off, and then TikTok brought him back i don't really like his music i think he's a little corny for my style but you know what i i, I mean he's a good brother though he, he 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 gets it in okay and he's a player so i like that about him he's a player okay and um he he does his thing he does his thing i'm not hating on him at all but um you know recently he was in las vegas and again you know he had a problem with his baby mama this year he broke up with his baby mama and all that other stuff he you know but like i said he was at the aria hotel Okay, some some idiot said, hey, Usher, F U B. All right. And, um, you know, my man, Jason Derulo run over there. Um, he, he he stole on the dude, too. I ain't gonna lie. He gave him a nice right across the mouth. Like and he so J so so Jason Derulo will fight. Like, don't don't get it twisted. You know, just because he be out there singing and dancing. He will whoop your ass. All right. And he he did get some hits in and he was fighting not one dude, but like almost two dudes. Okay. But. And I want to talk about this because, you know, for a lot of black men out there who are coming up, making a lot of money or on their way, I'm going to talk to Alpha Male Strategies about two months ago. He called me. He said, man, listen, bro, you know, this year you had a breakout year and a lot of people are going to try you. People are going to be coming after you on every hand. And you don't have to be out here trying to prove to nobody that ain't got what you got how much of a man you are and all the other stuff. Um, because only person that's going to lose is really you. Okay. And I, I, I thought about that. I've seen how Kevin Samuels has handled his success this year and Jason Derulo, he's known everywhere, but you, you would think that he could just ignore something like this. Right. But again, you can't just push up on people and think they are gonna react any kind of way right and this guy that said that to him was an idiot but at the same time i want same time i want to let black men understand something when you got a lot to lose you have to ignore some things and that's tough especially from us who got out the mud you know what i mean like yeah. uh, some of us still nick we, st we, we still we still negroes right we still will throw them things if we need to we still ain't no punk but for people who don't have anything to lose, we can't get involved in dealing with them. Because what can happen with him now? You, I mean, Darillo then brought his career back. TikTok revived his career. He's doing very well. You hit the guy, the guy sues you. Because the judge don't want to hear like, well, he called me Usher and he called me a, a, a B word. Someone over there and punched him. That's, that's going to be childish to a judge. You know, because even though the guy said that, but you're in a hotel, in the Aria Hotel, you fighting like like idiots. And it's not going to look good. It looks like you lost your cool, which is what he did, right? He lost his cool. But you don't come down to the level of bumps. And, I, and that's, it's easier said than done. You know, especially when you're minding your own business, you worried about yourself, it's easier easier said than done because people are always trying to push your buttons but that's how a lot of rich people get broke because a lot of people let me tell you this when you're wealthy people who are losers want to sue you for anything it's how wealthy people lose their money wealthy people in america lose a lot of their money based off lawsuits dealing with idiots who don't want to work so they're going to come after you the people who have worked hard to get to where they're at, the people who are doing something with their life because they're bums. So they want to push your button. They want to play these games with you, hoping that you snap. So then it gives them a reason to get what you have worked for. And all of it can be gone just like that. What if you hit the guy and he dies? What if you hit the guy and you killed him? Okay, one bad decision is all it takes. And for black men, and again, I, I would, you know, for black men, we have to really understand that it, it's so hard for us to get stuff. You know, it just even here on the YouTube sector, over here in the black YouTube community, you guys know about me. I'm a workaholic. I, I, I feel like 17 years a slave over here. 
um, the little things that God has afforded me, family, I had to bust my ass to get it. And some of you black men are the same way. Some of you brothers have stayed on the bus stop. Some of you brothers have um, lived in, 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 in circumstances you didn't want to. I lived at home with my mama until I was 34 years old. All right. So I'm, I can't bring no girls over. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm right. My name, I'm right. My name on the orange juice. So people laughing at me. So I paid my dues. Now I don't want to work all hard like that to give it away to one of you losers out there who want to get on my nerves or troll me. No, I got to be better than that. And I'm going to tell you black men all the time is that it's easy to lose your temper, but you are in control of what you do. You cannot control how other people act, but you control how you act. And at the end of the day, people are going to look at it as, as Jason Derulo is a hothead. He should be arrested. Why is he beating up people? Why is he fighting people? And I mean, I get it, right? Because I would feel the same way. But when you got something to lose, brother, you gotta protect what you have because you work too hard to get it. You've overcome so much adversity to get it. You cannot give it away to people who don't deserve it. And that's what's happening a lot of times in the black community. You get these brothers out here, they work hard, they, they deal with some, 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 some woman, they ain't supposed to be there dealing with some bums. They ain't supposed to be there get into it with some people like that. That's why you have security. You have security to deal with the situations like that. All right. So I, I want you black men to have something to understand as more that you have it. People know it. People are going to try you. People who don't know you're going to try you. People who know you're going to try. You. It's a little bit easier to you know ignore the people that you don't that, that, that don't know you which is what i would expect that he would have did but for what about the people that know you that's gonna try you that's where the rubber meets the road all right guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really uh, appreciate you brothers for all that you do i really want you black men to understand that you come a long way black people in general to where you've come to you come a long way it only take one mistake to wipe all that out for what you've been working for for many years don't give it away to people who are lazy who don't deserve it you fought too hard to get to here right now don't give it up all right brothers love you so much and keep on keeping on and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high i am out. Oh.